What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to Quick Tips. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do auto punch in Logic Pro. Now basically what that means, it allows you to record a certain selection of your audio file and uh, that's it, that selection only and nothing else. Basically let's say you got a guitar pattern going on and you're kinda of strumming along and then you kinda of screw up on one part. You wanna go back but you don't wanna record that whole thing. Well, that's where auto punch comes in. All you can do is just basically select that little area of your screw up and go ahead, play in real time and Logic will record that area that you selected that you want to pick up and uh, clean up. So with that said, if you really understand what I mean right there, I'm going to show you right now what I mean. So basically I'm going to go ahead and hit play just so you can hear what I got going on right here. And we're going to change uh, something in this audio file using the auto punch in Logic Pro. So here we go. Hello, my name is Adam. All right, so hello, my name is Adam. I'm going to use auto punch in... Um, we're going to change my name from Adam to drums. So basically the first thing we got to make sure we have is the little auto punch button on the bottom right here. So if you don't have that, go to the gray area, just move your mouse over, control or right click and bring in the customized transport bar and make sure you got auto punch selected. Once you got that done, go ahead and hit the button. And then you can go ahead and drag over the little area that you want to only record. So Whatever's in this red area right here, that is what Logic is going to record. So it's not going to record any of this. It's only going to record what's under this red area right here. So that is my name, Adam. Now, if you didn't want to drag the bars like this side to side, you can also bring your playhead position and hit left and hit right over here and set it that way. I kind of like the other way, just dragging it, but you can do that. To bring these up again, go to your gray area, control right click, go to customize transport bar, and put set punch in locator by playhead, and set punch out locator by playhead, and make sure you got those selected, and you'll have those up here, but I really don't like to use those. I like to just hit my auto punch button and select and drag the area that I want to be changed. So let's go ahead and uh, record something right now and we're going to change my name from Adam to drums and you'll see that this area won't get affected, only this area will change. So here we go. Hello, my name is Drums. Alright, so now that we've finished comping our audio track right there using auto punch, let's go ahead and take out the auto punch button and go ahead and play back to hear what we just recorded. Hello. My name is Drums. So as you can see right there, it picks up exactly what I wanted to record, and that was only my drums part, which is my name. Either I can use uh, Drums or Adam, and you can always go back. As you can see, Logic keeps all your auto audio files for you, and you can go ahead and change it back to Adam or Drums, as you may, or whatever selection you're trying to edit. You can go back and forth. So don't worry that your old audio file gets deleted. It's always there. Logic keeps it for you. So that's how you use Auto Punch in Logic Pro. It will help you a lot when you're trying to edit small little areas and you don't want to affect the whole track, just a little part of it. So if you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section. And uh, yeah, as usual, more great videos always come soon, guys. So uh, please rate and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Later.